Good morning, guys. So today we are going to make some corn syrup substitute. It's going to take that out because I wanted to make sure it would clip on the side of my uh, pot here. Got me a new candy thermometer, so this one should work. Made this batch and I made rock candy. Eh, yeah, yeah, that mason jar is in the garbage can now. <laughs> yeah, had a quart lollipop. It was big. <laughs> okay, so let's try this yet again. So in here, I've got, now I'm tripling the recipe because I need a big, a large amount of it. So I've got six cups of sugar in here, to which I am going to add, I want to make sure it was turned on, uh, three, three-fourths of a cup of water. So there's one, two, and three. And now I'm going to add three one-fourths of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Two. Here's number three. Now, oh, this is a video that Miss Wolfie did on our Hot Baker Homestead Plus. I am just going to try and recreate it so in this way I can use it because I have a recipe which you guys are going to be seeing or you have seen. I'm not sure because I don't know how I'm putting them up yet. Using this. So, you want to get this all mixed up and we're going to get it right. We're going to turn on the right burner. And we're going to stir this and get it mixed up and we need to get it to a rolling boil. So, I'll bring you guys back once I have this at the rolling boil. Okay, so we are pretty close to that rolling boil. I got some bubbles. I'm going to give it a stir. Do they come back? Oh, they're coming back. Okay. Yep, I'm at a rolling boil now. So I'm going to turn it down to medium. So in this way it can simmer. And I'm going to put a lid on it. The lid. Now, because my lid has a little vent hole, I'm just going to put a little towel over that so it can't uh, steam out. And this is to melt the sugar and all that stuff on the side of it. We want to do this for three minutes. So in three minutes, we will be right back. Okay, so it's been three minutes now. I'm just going to pull that lid off. And I'm going to get my candy thermometer in here because we want it to get to softball stage so 230 and it shouldn't actually take all that long I wouldn't think okay it's still rising I'm at 200 already just about 210 okay now, I also have a mason jar in the sink. Uh, it's sitting in nice hot water, so in that way the jar is nice and hot when I go to pour this in because I really don't want to break the jar. So, I have it soaking in some hot water, and I'll bring you guys back when this is reached softball stage, or, or yeah, 2.30. So, we'll be back in probably just a couple moments. Okay, so mine is now at the threading stage. Um, I think that's actually where I'm going to turn it off, just to be on the safe side. So, I'm going to shut it off, and I'm going to get my mason jar, mason jar, hot pad, candy thermometer, come out. Just sit there for a second. Okay. Now you want to make sure you do not touch this, or this does not touch you, because, well, it's hot sugar. Hot sugar burns. Burns, burns, burns. So, let's get this into the mason jar. Can you guys see that? Okay. So, let's get this into the mason jar. Carefully, carefully, carefully.
Do you ever pour something really hot into the mason jar and you're worried it's going to shatter? <laughs> I get that feeling a lot. Oh. That's not going to fit in there. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I have a little bit extra the side. That's all right. I'll put that into something. Okay. So I'm going to let this cool. Cause you got to let this cool for an hour with no lid on it. And I will bring you back in one hour and we'll see what this looks like. All right. Oh, okay. So here's the cor the corn syrup. I've been stirring this one just so that way it would cool down. So hence the, the color difference. <laughs> this one's a little aerated. But it's still body temperature. So definitely go to softball stage. But this will still work for what I need it for. So this is perfect. So yes, there you go. Corn, corn syrup substitute. Nice and easy. Takes a little bit, but it's actually fairly easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you really soon. Bye.